everybody video here for you today i've been putting this one together for a few days haven't documented a buy-in site for a while documented quite a few during the shutdown but why don't we go down to guatemala today this site is called nakum right down here there are a lot of mayan ruins down here i even documented one during the shutdown that might not even be on any lists but this site here extends for quite a ways the ruins are still pretty well preserved and they extend a lot farther out than what you can see here on Google Earth. Here are some of the ruins at Nakum, classic Mayan style. They say this goes back to the pre-classic period, and that extends as far back as 2000 BC. It says it was flourishing about a thousand years ago. So dating here is a little vague, but they give you some windows to look into. This is my second video of the day. Big thanks to Callie for letting me share her music video. I love that song. Here are some of the ruins. This stretches back all the way into the pre-classic period here. So the earliest evidence of human occupation here might go back about 3,500 years, 4,000 years. A little more on the dating coming up, but these look like a little more recent ruins found in this spot here. Here's some more ruins found in the city here. Is there a few different periods of building here? Well, there could be maybe different stonework in a few different areas here. But there are so many Mayan pyramid cities. I have probably documented at least five or six dozen now. Way more than ancient Egypt, but here, just more ruins found here. A museum website here, they did a research study down here. Here are the ruins, very impressive. An Acropolis, pyramids, massive city walls. You would not really know it by looking overhead on Google Earth, but that is a pretty impressive Mayan city few different areas of the city here and we're going to get to some videos i did some research down here and some pretty amazing technology here are a couple of artifacts found at the site clay head and then jade representations of some sort of animal here maybe a monkey but jade was very important to the mayans as far as the dating here it says the nakum phenomena is based on the fact that this site prospered during the 9th and 10th century ce a period marked by a gradual collapse of the classic Maya civilization. During this period, almost all the southern lowland Maya cities were abandoned and eventually to the loss of the forest for the next 1,000 years. But it says the research revealed that Nakum was first settled during the middle classic period, around 800 BC, so about 2,800 years ago. But those are some artifacts coming from the site right there. Here are some bowls and pottery found at the site. Here is a human form in a fairly familiar celestial pose. Here is a burial found at the site. With some offerings left there. Some glyphs found on a stella. Burials here. Some jade artifacts. Pretty interesting article here. This site was rediscovered in 1905 by Maurice de Pirnay. I believe that's who you see here. Next to a very large stella with some glyphs on it. How old is this Stella? Well, it could be a thousand, two thousand, four thousand years old. I'm not really sure here. Here's a look from the site from over a hundred years ago, and a lot of these ruins were covered in debris. This looks like a drawing or maybe some sort of old photo here, but the top of one of the pyramids is the way it looked. Here's one of two videos from Recording Archaeology. They make their videos shareable. I'm just going to share some images from these two videos, and I will leave these links below. Pretty cool stuff here. I will leave the full link to this video below, but here are some screenshots. Here are some topographical surveys of certain parts of this area that are still covered in jungle. Here is one pyramid still covered in debris, sedimentation here. Here's an area in the video where they located some stuff below the ground. And they do 3D imagery and they actually give you a tour here. I just thought this was really fascinating. Here you notice they found some rooms, debris, stonework below the ground here. And then they put this into motion. This is pretty cool here. They give you a 3D look around this ancient pyramid site. A lot of good features. This is one of the cooler videos I've seen using this kind of technology, that is for sure. They just move you around here. Look from all different views, rooms down here, certain features. This is just a real cool video. Don't get looks like this too often. Here we go below the pyramid. The underworld was represented in a lot of these features and pyramids from all around the world. 
same kind of thinking here put into these pyramids but here this is pretty fascinating just a rare look but beneath a pyramid here sometimes you want to know what is beneath a pyramid but that is a pretty fascinating look right there many rooms and tunnels and chambers down here probably what is located beneath a lot of these pyramids down in mesoamerica guatemala places like that here's another look here are some pyramid features some walls laid out in the city some pretty cool imagery done by these people and once again i will leave the full link below it's a little hard to understand this lecture but certainly you can make out enough to make it worthwhile but some very very cool imagery done of this site at nikum Here's another video from Recording Archaeology. They uploaded this about 10 days ago, Geophysical Survey and Tropical Rainforest. Here they have a site plan, very impressive city here. Very large features, a wall surrounding it, pyramids. Here's a topographical map showing you the layout of the main part of the city here. Here is an area of the city where they have stuff numbered and lettered, stairs down at the right, areas where they got below the ground here at this site. And I'm sure these places are numerous, but time has just kind of covered up these areas, but they got into a few of them here. Here is one covered up pyramid. They did get into it below there. Here's what they think it looks like. You see some topographical mapping up above there. But some pretty good work done by these people here. A lot of these ruins are still covered by jungles. And here is an area where they got down below. Looks like some holes made in a room down here post holes or maybe burning hearths. I'm not sure which. Here is a central area of the plaza. These ruins look like they are in very good shape. They did uh, verification of anomalies found at the site. You notice the red arrows, they are pointing to areas, I believe that go down beneath the ground here. Here's an area where they found beneath the ground. Caves, tunnels here, pretty fascinating. They certainly broke out. A lot of the new technology for this study, I believe one of these was done in 2014, and one of them was done a little later, but here are some more stuff they found beneath the ground using new technology. Once again, I will leave both of these video links below so you can watch them if you want. Here's a diagram of what looks like one of the major pyramids at the site. Rises up to the top here, back here, and then kind of comes down in a step pyramid form here, just like those pyramid mounds you see in ancient America. Here are some more artifacts found at the site. I just found this was an interesting site to cover, especially with that 3D look beneath the pyramid. Here looks like some more jade artifacts, some glyphs on there, right there down the middle. That was a pretty unique look in ancient Nakum, ancient Mayan city right down here in the jungles of Guatemala. I like covering a lot of different sites from around the world. There's so much history to cover. That was a unique look. Thanks to Recording Archaeology. I will leave the links below. Hope you thought that was cool. And you all have a very nice day.